Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're taking a look at another Pokemon rumor going over the apparent trailer release date for the Crown Tundra. Who knows? Take it with a grain of salt. But if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment and subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the rumor. Alright, so starting things off, this was posted on Friday, which was the 7th of August and it's titled Crown Tundra and a bit more. And a bit more, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas has come early. We're getting a bit more. So it's pick unrelated, but it's still kind of funny, which is obviously the beta promo pass. If you haven't seen that, basically Gen 4 Sprite. So all got bloody leaked, all the B-Tech ones, and that's what promo pass used to look like. Needs a shave. Uh, anyway, it says new trailer drops on August the 12th, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, which is why I wanted to make this rumor today. Apparently, we're getting a trailer tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow. It's the 12th. Maybe we're getting one. Who knows? It says, I think it will be announced three or four days earlier, which is not true. It is the 11th today, and we have had zero, and I mean zero, knowledge about a trailer. But it says, focusing on the legendaries. It's a short gameplay video, followed by additional info from Tsunakazu Ishihara. Probably got that wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, this trailer is apparently dropping tomorrow. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we don't have to wait long to find out if it's true or not. Um, so yeah, hopefully we do get something tomorrow. We might not, but we're just going to have to wait and see. It's less than 24 hours. So that's all right. Anyway, it says the trailer starts off showing Galarian Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno in battle using their previously revealed signature moves. It says you can still get the Cantonian forms, but only via Pokemon Home. This also applies to Regigigas, which we already knew about anyway, because all of the Pokemon with new forms, such as like the Galarian and the Alola forms, all their original forms are already available in Sword and Shield. Like we've got Galarian Ponytar in Sword and Shield, but you can transfer Ponytar, the original, into Sword and Shield anyway. So yeah, I think we already kind of knew that, but I guess that we just got some information about it. it says Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago are shown in a dungeon called Zap Scale Throne. Zap Scale Throne. Throw. You can catch them by solving puzzles in the classic Reggie style, but as shown in the trailer, it's more focused on mazes and static wild Pokemon than riddles and field moves. That's one of the things I loved about the Generation 3 games, the original ones. Having to do all the different Reggie uh, puzzles was just so good. Having to get a Relic Ant and a Wailord, and I didn't have internet back then as well, so I don't even know how I figured that out. I think someone at school told me, but bro, they were great. I loved doing the riddles. Fan bloody tastic. Anyway, it goes on to say two new G-Max forms are teased, presumably related to Calyrex. If you're familiar with the recent data mining, you'll know that it confused with two different Pokemon. Not aware of who are those two, but I put my money on the new um, Regis unrelated to the leak though. Um, so wait, he says presumably related to Calyrex, but then he says that apparently the Regis are getting them. So I don't know, this guy's kind of contradicting what he's saying. Obviously, Calyrex is getting two new forms. We know about this because of the data mine. Uh, we don't know what they look like. Uh, we have their Japanese names. We don't know what type things they are. Nothing like that. They just apparently fuse with Calyrex. So that's going to be great. Can't wait for that. But until then, we just know that we're getting a little bit of that. But uh, yeah, apparently the Regis are getting Gigantamax forms. Even though he just said there's something to do with Calyrex. I don't even know. I think he's taking a guess that it's the Regis. But he's just said... They're presumably related to Calyrex. Make your mind up, pal. Anyway, it then goes on to say Avery and Clara will also appear, seen with the MC in the port that is likely connected to Hulbury. So we haven't actually had any information regarding Avery and Clara being in the Crown Tundra. It seems to be all about um, the other dude. I uh, can't remember his name. Peony or something like that. He seems to be like the main character in the Crown Tundra. And then he's got a daughter, we've, which we've had a model for or something. A lot of people do believe that Peony is related to Chim and Rose. They kind of look pretty similar. So we'll have to wait and see for that. But uh, yeah, he's going to be taking us around the Crown Tundra. And I'm guessing just showing us how to do the whole legendary raid stuff going on. Then it goes on to say Peony's daughter, Margaret. Margaret, that is such a British name, Margaret. <laughs> It's also revealed. How are you going to be called Peony and call your daughter Margaret? That's just the biggest difference in names I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, she's also revealed. She specializes in dark type Pokemon and has a Galarian Slowking as her main. Um, yeah, that definitely is something I could see happening. You know, Slowking uh, Galarian form is going to have to have some sort of trainer, um, just like Clara and Avery both had Galarian Slowbro. Um, we obviously don't know the typing of Galarian Slowking. A lot of people think it's going to be Ghost or Dark or what have you. 
probably is it does look kind of like that from what we've seen he looks to have like that vampire cape thingy on uh and he, he also just has that dark vibe again uh, about him that he's gonna be a dark or a ghost type or maybe even poison as well who knows anyway then goes on to say the regional slow king has more detailed information at the end of the trailer the re oh okay a poison dark type with the signature move royal smite i don't know if royal smite was one of the moves that was leaked in the data mine i can't remember uh, it says changes type and animation depending on the user's highest attack stat, which is obviously kind of similar to Slowbro's move. Judging by the toxic bubble effect after it hits, I guess it has a uh, chance to poison the foe. Uh, okay, nothing crazy about that right there. I'm all good with that. And it says still no exact release date, but it's in November. Um, I'm pretty sure the next Crown Touch trailer is going to have the release date in. Most likely. Maybe it won't. Maybe it's just a small little trailer. Who knows? And it says a new Pokemon Presents is scheduled for the 19th of August, one week after the trailer with more details on Pokemon Unite. Despite all the initial hate, I think it's turning out to be a pretty solid game, at least from what I know. How do you know this information, anonymous person on the internet? Please give us the answers that we desire. But yeah, that's apparently that. So maybe we are going to get a trailer tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We don't have to wait long. Um, but anyway, that's the first rumor that I wanted to go over today. So this is the second rumor that I wanted to go over today. It's just titled The Crown Tundra by, again, Anonymous. Don't know how these people know all this information. Uh, but this was released on the 29th of July. So not super long ago. It says you are given a crown ticket when the game updates and you have the DLC. This allows you to take a train to the Crown Tundra. Sonya is there researching strange Dynamax spots. The story is split into four parts. The first has you collect uh, a fruit from the legendary bird's tree. You fight one based on your starter. The second one, you need to travel to a nearby village to recruit Peony and go into a temple in search of either Regieleki or Regidrago. You have to catch one of them. Once you pick one, you can't choose again. In the third, an ultra wormhole appears. You have to fight and catch one of the new ultra beasts, depending on your version. Afterwards, a cutscene plays with an earthquake effect showing Calyrex has been awoken. In the final chapter, you have to go up to the tree atop the royal mountain to fight and catch it. You also meet Colrus, who gives you the Calyrizer, which confused Calyrex and one of the two new Ultra Beasts. Uh, after the main story, you can do Dynamax Adventure and encounter all old legendary Pokemon and Ultra Beasts except Type Null. Silver, well, Type Null's already in the game. We've already got that. Sil Valley and the Regis. Um, the Regis, I swear, are already shown in like the Crown Tundra trailer. The Crown Tundra will release on November the 17th. Um, which I think is a year after Sword and Shield. Didn't Sword and Shield get released on the 17th i don't know maybe who knows uh but these are the two rumors today uh i i mean i don't know about this one this is just kind of going through all the different um chapters we know we're getting four chapters we just obviously don't know the ins and outs of them but this is apparently going through all of those uh and then obviously this is the rumor just going over an apparent new trailer that we're going to get tomorrow I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that is going to be everything for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 750 likes. Make sure to leave a comment as well. What do you guys think about these rumors? And subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.